Last week, Erskine College, a small school in South Carolina, issued a policy about homosexuality and, to an extent, sexuality in general. The policy said homosexuality is wrong, period. It also said that marriage can never be between two men or two women. I called the school out on this because there was no need for them to release this policy and because I felt it was clearly directed at two students, two of their men's volleyball players who had come out publicly on Outsports about a year ago. Erskine College has pushed back and said, oh, they haven't issued any policy, it was just a statement on sexuality, blah, blah, blah. Monday night, the student government is going to take this issue up. And if I was somehow able to transport myself to due west South Carolina, this is what I would share with them. First, I understand that this policy doesn't really reflect the Erskine community. The Erskine community is the student athletes, the students, the faculty, the people who are there living together day to day. Juan and Drew, the two volleyball players I wrote about, have both said they love Erskine. They've been embraced by their teammates. They've been embraced by their friends. There have been no issues with them being gay. But a bunch of older people on the board of trustees have caved to pressure from alumni and other very conservative religious members of the Due West community in Western South Carolina and have created this policy about homosexuality, making it essentially illegal to be gay on campus. Now, the school has said this isn't a policy, but it's a statement on sexuality. But let me be super clear about this. Their statement said at the very end, quote, institutional decisions will be made in light of this position. That has the effect of policy. The statement makes it very clear that homosexuality is wrong, it's not to be tolerated on the campus, and that the institution and the institution's decisions will be affected by that morality. The effect that has on students is powerful. Just ask Juan and Drew how they felt when they heard this policy slash statement from the Board of Trustees. It has the effect of policy. Therefore, the school can say whatever it wants about it just being a statement. It's not. When the school and the Board of Trustees make that kind of statement, it is, in effect, policy. This was not some innocuous statement that they made. Some little observation about what's in the Bible. We all know what's in the Bible. Everyone in America knows what's in the Bible. Everyone knows the passages from Leviticus. Growing up in church, I heard it over and over and over and over again. That's why I tried to not be gay for so long because of these very passages in the Bible that Erskine policy has quoted. There was no need for them to make this statement. Everyone in the Erskine community knows what's in the Bible. There was nothing innocuous about this statement. The statement was designed to target two students very specifically because they had come out publicly and because the Board of Trustees had gotten pushback because, oh my gosh, Erskine might be suddenly welcoming to gay people. And it was also designed to make gay students and faculty members feel uncomfortable. Everyone knows what's in the Bible. There was no reason for them to make this statement to point out what everyone already knows unless they were trying to make people feel uncomfortable. And that is exactly what they did. They said they weren't trying to do anything to undermine the Erskine family, but that's exactly what they did. I don't see the Board of Trustees issuing statements about tattoos, about playing football, about 
playing sports on the Sabbath, or about any of the other issues that are mentioned in the Bible, some of which Jesus Christ himself talks about. The Board of Trustees doesn't issue statements about those because the Board of Trustees doesn't feel the need to target students based on whether they're throwing a football around. And for those of you who don't realize that football is made of pigskin which is uh, and leather, which is against verses in the Bible. They don't issue statements on serving shrimp and pork in the dining halls. No. They issue statements about homosexuality because they want to target homosexuality and they don't like the fact that there are gay people on campus. That's why they did it. Now they can also say, oh, this really wasn't targeting gay people because we talked about any kind of sex outside of marriage. Really, look at what the statement says. Yes, it does talk about sex outside of marriage. But then it says gay people can never get married. Only straight people can. So gay people can never have sex. Straight people can. They just have to get married. Just walk down to the courthouse, fill out a license, and then you can have as much sex as you want. This was designed to target gay people. The Board of Trustees and the alumni aren't worried about straight kids hooking up in college. They're worried about gay people having sex. That's what they're worried about. That's who it was targeting. That's why they talked specifically about closing the loophole of same-sex marriage. You could think, oh, well, if, if adultery is just sex outside of marriage, well, then I'll just, I'll just marry my boyfriend and then we can have sex. No, nope, they closed that loophole because they said very specifically that it's against school beliefs, it's against school policy to recognize same-sex marriages. I wish the Board of Trustees would listen to the people in the Erskine community, the people who are really in the Erskine community, not some older, mostly white, mostly male, mostly straight people living in their fancy houses on the Board of Trustees. I wish they would listen to the people who are going to the campus day to day, the people who know plenty of gay people. There are, and there are many on campus. I've been told by very other varsity athletes, by other gay people who've reached out to me, by members of the student government, there isn't an issue on campus. In fact, Juan, the uh, volleyball player I quoted in the story, said very specifically that he has felt loved by the community. Yet the school decided to issue a very specific policy targeting gay people and trying to drive them out of the school. And they can say all they want that that's not what they were trying to do, but that is in fact what they are doing. I hope the students and the faculty realize who the real problem is here. A few of them have reached out to me saying that I've misrepresented the school and what the school was trying to do. I'm not there. I'm going by my observations and from what I see talking to people. But I'm not the problem here. Juan and Drew are not the problem here. The problem is the Board of Trustees and other people who decided that they needed to issue a policy and a statement about homosexuality, that they needed to proactively make contributing members of your community feel bad about themselves. Drew and Juan and other people on campus have already struggled through a lot of this stuff with religion and the Bible. They didn't need the Board of Trustees and your college to remind them of it in a very public, very powerful statement that talked about institutional decisions based on the Bible. It's telling that when the school tried to issue a statement backing away from that policy a little bit, that they tweeted at both Juan and Drew. If you had any question in your mind that this policy was specifically directed at gay students and two gay students in particular, the school tweeted at these two gay athletes, the policy. There was no need for them to do that. But they did it anyway because the school is targeting these two students. I hope that the faculty and the students at Erskine College will realize that and they will fight back. They won't accept this policy or this statement. 
they should issue their own statement, the faculty and the student government at Erskine, their own statement that talks about what Jesus Christ was really about, about embracing people around you, about loving thy neighbor, about making everyone feel, feel good about themselves, about empowering people, not about disempowering them and making them feel bad. I hope the students and the faculty at Erskine College will rally around all of the members of the community and tell the Board of Trustees of Erskine College to, to rescind the policy.